So once you are in your email and you have received your invitation link to Squarespace, it is going to automatically create a new account for you. So it should look something like this. Um, you are going to have your template site. I'm going to give you permissions to do what you want to do with this. So you're going to be able to edit it, add things, take things away, change the fonts, all that good stuff. You're going to be able to do that yourself. And it's going to automatically create you a duplicate site. So you don't have to worry about messing up the template or anything like that. So once you are in here, this is going to be your dashboard in Squarespace. And let me say this, if you don't have a Squarespace account already, you will automatically get a free trial of Squarespace once you click that invitation link. If you already have Squarespace, it's going to take you to your login page. So every site you have will show up on this My Dashboard page. I'm not going to scroll because you don't need to see everything I got going on here, but all of the sites that I own are going to be on this one page here. And it'll tell you exactly when your trial expires. You can do all the editing and all the premium features up until your trial expires. And then you'll have to pick a plan. If you already have a Squarespace account, then you already know this and you can just skip this part. So go ahead and click on your site and it is going to bring up what is there. This is actually the demo site. So everything is already in here and it's showing you uh, just the different banners that are already pre-made and upload it. You can go ahead and just kind of scroll, edit what you want to edit. If you don't have a class, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You can delete it. Um, these photos are the photos that are coming from Canva. So this is actually what I'm going to show you right now is how to bring all of that over here to your Squarespace website. So you're going to go ahead and click edit. Bam. So every time you are trying to upload a banner, you're going to click edit section and you're going to click background and you can see this is actually the file with this person here and there are no words because these words are made in Squarespace. So on your banner template in Canva, there will not be any text. It's really just the graphics and then you're going to do all of your typing in Squarespace. That's just to keep it uniform. Sometimes things just don't line up properly if you do all of your text in Canva. You can experiment with it though um, and download and re-download however many times you need to to get it to work for you. But I particularly like to do it this way. Just go right in here and start typing. So if you are uploading a new photo, you are going to click replace and upload a file. So obviously this is a demo site. So this person is probably not the person that purchased the template. So you'll go in Canva, you'll change this photo out, or maybe you'll even take the photo away. You can do whatever you want to do in Canva and then you will upload the replacement file. So let's see, how do we do that? Um, let me hear you see here. So we are going to do the banner, Squarespace banners, bam. So we are in Squarespace. I'm gonna get rid of that window, that uh, sidebar. So here we are. So say for instance, I want to do a blank banner instead of the one with her on it, right? We have our blank, which is page number seven. We're going to go ahead and share that click the download button make sure it's a png or a jpg file it doesn't really matter um, but just make sure it's one of those two we will click page seven only you can do it up here it'll usually default to whatever page you're currently sitting on go ahead and download that all right bam so we are downloading that then we're going to go back over here to the replace and we'll go and we will upload our file that we just downloaded and look it is blank it's still working but you can see from the preview that is blank 
So if you didn't want the photo of a person there or you don't want to put a picture of yourself, that's fine. You can take that off. You do that right over there in Canva. Now, here you can either discard your changes or save your changes. I'm going to discard them because I just want to leave it intact for the demo site. And it asks you if you're sure, uh, just so you don't make any mistakes. And as you can see, it did not make that blank change. It kept her there. These Squarespace sites, these templates are also mobile friendly. You can switch between desktop view and mobile view. I do pretty much everything on desktop because I create content. I do know that most people access things on their phones though. So you always want to be mindful of that and make sure that everything is lined up well enough to where it will render properly on mobile. So you can click on that mobile phone over here in the corner just to see how things look so you just want to make sure everybody can still read everything that you want them to be able to read on mobile so you're going to scroll and you can adjust a lot of these things while you are in here all of these graphics are part of the bundle so adding them is the same thing this follow on insta this is a demo site so obviously these photos are just random photos but you can literally connect your Instagram to Squarespace and it will show your entire feed. If you purchase the bundle, you have 40 Instagram feed templates. So you can add video, you can make it a reel and still put it within a template if you want. It's a lot of possibilities. So don't worry if you feel like Instagram is really focusing on reels, that's totally fine. Um, and then you have your get in touch business, I'm sorry, form right here and get updates to get on the newsletter all of these fields can be customized deleted etc so on and so forth your menu that would usually be on the top up here is in the hamburger menu over here you just click on it start here services about me blog etc so on and so forth this is a one page template so all of your stuff is done for you on one page it's already put in there. However, you are able to go in here and create as many pages as you need to. So for instance, you can have a service page, click on that. It's not going to click to anything now because it's actually not connected to anything and I haven't made it, but you can add as many pages or take as many pages away as you would like. Totally up to you. I've already connected my acuity slash squarespace scheduling to this book now button you can do the same thing if you purchase the bundle then you also got the acuity templates as well Oops, sorry so let me get these emojis out here bam so it's the same thing you would go ahead click on here book your appointment you can edit this part if you want by clicking the edit button and changing all the text this part here is an actual embed if you are signed up with acuity already or squarespace scheduling it's already going to look exactly how you want it to look you can also embed your website your acuity site so it is showing all the graphics and not just the appointments there's a lot of customization you can do so i'm going to click on edit i just want to see what's here you can start with acuity scheduling if you don't already have it or you can add your existing schedule if you add your existing schedule it should pull all the data directly from your squarespace over your squarespace scheduling over to your squarespace website so that's how you do that um and then that's pretty much it you can edit and go about it however you want to you can change the configuration you can go edit all of these words if you don't do brows or you don't do lashes but you do nails or hair or any other type of beauty services you can create whatever you really want to create on here and you know make sure you update all of your social links i'm actually going to show you that as well um, you can do that in the header or the footer i have it on the footer on this template if you scroll down scroll down okay if you can see here you can edit footer social links click that little pencil and add social links so basically here you would do like twitter 
Facebook.com, hit the enter key. It's going to give you the icon right down there. Same thing, any other social you have. Same thing, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Obviously, you would put your actual username here. So for me, it would be Orlando Nail Tech for Instagram. And then I would hit the back button. Um, but since this is a demo site, I don't want to leave that on there. Um, not that I wouldn't love for everybody to go follow me, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. You can also change um, everything in the footer as far as like your copyright message. So once you change your templates and your banners in Canva, you can totally change this to your own personal business um, or, you know, your name. If you don't have a business that's registered, it's totally fine. I just have it here because I'm the one that created the template. As it stands now, this demo site is copyright by me. So yeah, you can change pretty much everything you would need to change on here. Squarespace has a lot of tutorials on their YouTube as far as how to use Squarespace, how to do different things. I've also included a link to a Chrome extension in the bundle that'll help you transfer your website over to uh, your existing website. So if say you have a Squarespace account and you want to update, update the template with this new template. Instead of losing all your data and all your sales and all your appointments and everything else, you can keep all of that intact and just literally transfer everything from these templates over to your existing website. So it's kind of a painless process and it's done all with a Chrome extension. Again, the link is there. It is a paid service after five days. So just be mindful of that. And you just go ahead and follow the instructions there to migrate your site over with the new templates. That is it. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to check out my other videos on designing for the beauty professionals and any tutorials on how to use Canva, how to use Squarespace, selling digital products, all that good stuff. I will see you next time. Like, share, and subscribe.